It was back in May when we featured Princess Anne in our small town series. Like many small towns on Delmarva, Princess Anne is seeing a resurgence in popularity with new businesses and new residents calling it home. And that's because of the efforts of the town and groups like Main Street Princess Anne. They're creating a lot of great reasons to make a stop in the Somerset County town. For example, summer on Somerset. Joining me to tell us more about Summer on Somerset is Main Street Princess Anne manager Carrie Sammons. Thanks Hello. for being here. Thank you. Uh, so I have to call you out right from the get-go. Where's Marshall P. Muskrat? I didn't bring him today. Oh. It's, it's a hot day. He's home relaxing in the air conditioning. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll let that go. <laughs> so let's talk uh, first about what is Summer on Somerset. So we started Summer on Somerset a few couple of summers ago. This will be our third summer. Um, initially, we got some funding from the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore and then some funding from Somerset County Arts Council to help support the program. We're just offering a variety of um, opportunities and experiences to enjoy in downtown Princess Anne. So mm -hmm. music, food, all sorts of fun and free to the public. And and so people just go, it's like a street fair kind of? Yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And this year we're tweaking it a little bit. So there are some experiences that will be very specific and kind of um, will uh, necessarily involve a smaller group of people um, just so that it's a richer experience. But then we'll have lots of larger public events as well. So we just, um, Today in the studio, we booked Rhythm and Roots to come to Princess Anne later this month, so we're ah, super excited about that. Yeah. So drumming, juggling, wine tasting, um, beer tastings, mm -hmm. food tastings, all sorts of things like that. Some painting, some sort of make and take opportunities. So a little bit of something for everyone. So it's very family uh, friendly then. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, tell me what your favorite part of Summer on Somerset is. My favorite part of Summer on Somerset is just being downtown and seeing the, the diversity of people that come down and enjoy the events. You know, young folks, old folks, um, kind of multi-generational, uh, people from a variety of cultural backgrounds, um, coming in that live in town, but that are also visiting from other areas. So just seeing all of that activity downtown is super exciting to and, me. And it sounds like it's never the same event no. time after time. It's right. always changing. Always changing, definitely. Yeah. 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 Oh. So that makes it fun too. Okay, so when can we experience Summer on Somerset? So next week, one of our um, activities is after the Taws Crab and Clam Bake, we're doing a special happy hour at the Washington and in Tavern for folks who have been at the Taws Crab and Clam Bake all day, kind of baking out in the sun. <laughs> you can come indoors at the Washington Inn and Tavern on your way home and enjoy a cold beer together. Huh. So that's one. And then the following week we'll have drumming and um, juggling. So Ooh. you and you can come try your hand at both. Okay. Right? You can do a little bit of that yourself as well. Sounds like a whole lot of yeah. fun. And we will have all the information on our website, domarvalife.com, so you can see when the next one is and the one after that. Go to all of them. Yeah. Carrie Samus with Main Street Princess Anne, thank you so much. Thank you for so coming much. In.